Hello and welcome to JW Solo USA. Today's video again, just an update to um, my portable generator that I talked about yesterday. I'm gonna be building, and folks, I'm just trying to put all the stuff together. I got some positive and negative cables here, with black and red, and a, a crimper and terminals right there I just got um, today and I'm trying to I cut the wires the 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 cables to six inches long because that's how I'm gonna be connecting the batteries I'm gonna be using or testing at the moment which is the SLA sealed acid battery for doing a test or building this thing while I incorporate the lithium ion batteries that's gonna be coming next after I got um, decided which ones lithium ions phosphate or um, any of the newer technology whatever 18650s or whatever out there but um I'm gonna do this first with the same batteries you guys um, knew me about, like uh, doing my test. I have eight of them. I'm gonna be testing them, making my uh, interconnect um, series parallel cables, which I'm gonna be setting this uh, system for 12 volt or 24 volt configuration. Um, I don't know yet, but I'm trying to look for something that's really um, uh, portable. A system I'm gonna be able to depend on or maybe I can able to charge it on a regular charger I don't have to go through a lot of stuff well, I'm thinking I might probably go with the 12 volt system which I can able to probably the batteries are low I can able to hook hook it up under uh, my alternator or another source of charging to charge the batteries if I want to and I can able to use uh, just uh, things laying around here to um, perform this application but anyway um, I'm gonna be giving you update again as time goes on and today is just uh, the stuff ready here and I'm gonna the next one I'm gonna be showing you how to crimp these wires and get them ready the third video is gonna be the battery is gonna be in line from that and connect um, connecting the batteries into series or parallel either or and uh, we go from there so stay tuned for this episode like I said it's coming and it's gonna be coming and continue with more videos as we go here till we finish up our, uh, our portable uh, generator kit so it's gonna be probably kind of a longer series to like uh, all the parts as they come, keep on incorporating whatever I wanna I wanna put there. So I don't know yet the the inverter I'm gonna be running into. I'm run into the system, like I said, I know for the charge controller it might be the Victron, and because I have a Victron, uh, copyright Victron from China, I'm gonna be utilizing. And with a Victron, um, a smaller one, not a big one, because they're all passive uh, 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 cooling. So I don't want too much fans or noise because uh, it, they, they all help to um, take some power from my battery bank, which I'm trying to be very efficient here in case something happen. I'm not, I don't want anything that's going to draw my power way too fast or drain my power. I need all this stuff going to be efficient system that I'm building here so I want to try and do more of a passive system but uh, it's not gonna be easy um, I'm looking the, the, the inverter is gonna be some kind of interesting I don't know yet it, it might be um, magnum those a uh, thousand watt magnum it, it, it depends pure sine wave I'm, I'm still trying to I want something really efficient because um, it's not going to be too much batteries into this uh, device, into this uh, box. 
just going to be a simple and that's going to power cell phones and um, other stuff and radio, maybe communication and uh, all the other gadgets, little gadgets, a cigarette lighter to charge your tablet phones and all lighting. Yeah, I'll probably will have a, a little fridge. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to show you back on my video about a little um, like a college fridge, you know, student from college have those portable fridges and uh, that I'm going to be tied into my 12 volt system if I have to and uh, casting wheels on that um, on the uh, on the box. So it's not going to be uh, big batteries. Uh, it's going to be the sealed acid SLA. Uh, it's gonna work on that a little bit from there before I incorporate to uh, lithiums. So stay tuned for this. This is gonna be another continuation of this video as we go. Take care, guys. Subscribe, like, and share. Like you always. Love you guys all. JW Solar USA. Stay for the part two of I'm gonna be trimming that wires and making all those terminals into that, making my um, uh, red and black wires for my battery connections. All right. Thank you. And have a blessed day. Like I was saying yesterday, um, this is the uh, project for the uh, portable generator. For my off-grid solar project, emergency solar generator. So today, you guys can see what I have here, which I want to show you guys. You've seen this. I've done a review onto this uh, machine. Well, I got my crimping tool or crimping machine, you can call it, or crimper that... I don't have the specs on hand right now, but is the is a YQK-300. Is a heavy duty machine here for crimping your battery cable or whatever you want to make for your off-grid solar system or off-grid and non-off-grid. So this is the uh machine it has different dye on it so it's um see let me go this way it got from 300 i hope you can see it from 300 all the way to 25 dye Pretty interesting huh see that so this machine I can able to use I'm not gonna use any more uh, soldering and all this other stuff there's another uh, crimper here all electrical for doing all uh, stuff but these are not for the big boys these are just for the little boys well this is what I have today for the project I call them at six inches long and I'm gonna be peeling them just like this one right here. You will see the amount. And I have terminals, ring terminals already. Um, I bought, and that's the size of the batteries I'm gonna be using exactly. I don't need a wire too long because I have to do a series configuration or parallel, parallel. And um, I bought a dozen of them on my local hardware store in uh, the cities in St. Paul, Minnesota here. And I have an extra O-ring for the machine because uh, if, since the hydraulic, something happened to it or uh, busted a, 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 a O-ring, then I can able to replace it easily. Look at this boy. And um, that's how 
the machinies. Let's see. Ah, yeah, he goes. I think he goes that way. Sorry for the movements right there. Yeah, you go. A lot of movements on that camera. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize for, you know, trying to keep my camera very steady. These are the tools I need for me to um, get everything situated here with um, the off-grid solar project. And let's start it. Like I told you guys yesterday, it will be fun. And just to get you guys all going with all these projects. So, let's make some terminals, shall we? Really cool. Well, if you haven't seen videos of this device before, my crimper, go back into my tools on my videos on playlist. You can see the full uh, unboxing or full specs on this thanks for watching please subscribe like and share if you haven't been a subscriber yet or you just stopping by you know happens to come across my channel I encourage you to stay along with us and learn things and we all can learn together as we go with this channel right here from JW Solo USA live from Minnesota so Let's see what we can do right here. Started taking these boys out and make some crimping. Crimping this. What are we going to start with? So, let's see. Since we have a red here, it's already peeled off. I would say um, I have one of them here. You can see. So, you have to do kind of a little bit measurements. You can see like... Oh, sorry, I was off the camera. You can see here, so like a a groove. So we can see if we can stick this one in. It's almost, it's almost the size. So mind you guys, this is a a six gauge. If you can take a look closely, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Anyway, take my word. Let's see. Well, I want to prove it to you guys. Do you see that number six? Focus, focus. There we go. See that number six? AWG. And this is a THHN cable. I decided to do this. I just want to use a pure copper and um, nothing fancy. Though um, it's an expensive cable, but um, the current I'm going to be passing into this, it's not going to be a uh, heavy duty current, but a six gauge wire. Carries a lot of amps. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be dealing with here. I want you to bear with me. Get this camera all focused. So we got it all the way this way. <sighs> Try not be. I want you guys to have this footage very clear. I'm having a light issue. So if you can see. So that means I have to peel this wire a little bit more so we gotta have a razor right here I don't know there we go it's another brand right there so stay with me and see what we can do right here JW Solo US all right so since we already have the die open, I would like to do this um, on the other side so you guys can able to see, let's see, here, I'm going to stick it right there. So this groove right here, 
this groove right here will um, go with um, will go with the uh, the center by the by the die. Okay, so we're gonna make sure I stick it right here. I want you guys to see it. I want everything to be off the way. So just crank this thing up. I hope you can still see. Okay. Cranking this. That's this is how you crimp wires or battery terminals. Let me get it right on the thing and I will show you. Is hydraulic pump. There we go. I got it to where I want it. And you see that? Locks. And look, this is the back, the back part of it. Look at the cylinder is pushing as you press on. Look, let me show you the relief valve into this. The release. Look, the cylinder is moving back. See that? That's how it works. The pressure applied. And uh, look, I'm applying pressure now. But the cylinder is coming out. See that? Getting close. So let's go back and do it. Finishing the job right now. You see, um, that's the last compressions I'm putting on that wire. So, folks, um, it's all getting done. And uh, the machine is down. <clears throat> and you can see uh, I already made um, four wires. Terminals, I uh, made a total of six. So this is a clear representation here. If you want to do things, uh, you have the machines for that. You can always do a better job. Instead of um, running around looking for things, scrambling with other things. But um, here, everything is here. So I have all kind of different kind of die I can able to use for different application. So the die I use there is just a, a two, I think it's 25 die to uh, crimp a number six gauge wire awg with a thhn so this is a completion of the job right now it's about six wires total terminal we have three blacks three red but i'm going to be continuing making more as you see i have six more on the left hand side here with my blade and um, electrical crimp uh, crimper that's a little one and I'm just getting everything done. And those are the wires right now. Thank you for watching. All right, folks. These are the end products right here from the JW Solo USA. All <clears throat> built some nice crimped wires here. Way too professional for the look, for the looks. And uh, I just want to show you how everything, you saw the video, everything was done. And uh, look what I have here. I have three uh, set of uh, three sets of threes here. What do you think? You like? It looks nice. So I have uh, three of the reds and three of the blacks. Look how it's all done, huh? Look at this. Didn't you just like? 
give a like subscribe and share the video I'm trying to put everything for you guys here really nice you see it's the same length all of them it's all of them the same length so look at them they don't want to be steady I'm trying to put them together here Look at this. Really beautiful. Number six AWG THHN cable or battery terminals I created here. Hmm? They look so nice. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. And uh, stay tuned for that. Bringing you new more options and bringing you more videos to come from this channel. All right. All pretty. All the same size. And um, trust me, it's quite a bit of time I put in here. Have the right tool for the direct operation and you can do everything perfectly perfect machine right there is performing the job thanks for watching bye for now don't forget to subscribe like and share